Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this video is going to be very, very, very different than what I normally upload, so um, if you don't want to watch it, that's perfectly fine. But consider sticking around, it's pretty thought provoking. And I'm pretty excited to do it because someone reached out to me and let me know that they wanted my help with this project, which is actually pretty cool. So, some of you guys might be familiar with the TV show called The Curse of Oak Island and other shows which cover the mystery of Oak Island. The teenagers who initially found the underground chamber around 1795 attributed it to Captain Kidd based on the lore of Nova Scotia, which alleged he hid a treasure in the area a hundred years before. Since then, what might have been hidden in the hole in the ground has expanded to include the Ark of the Covenant, the Holy Grail, the Gold of the Aztecs, and pretty much any elusive treasure. The myths for the search have, frankly, left the realm of plausible reality. Because fiction can be used to teach history, but history cannot be fiction, a writer and historian named Louis Doherty asked me to narrate and act in the work that we're going to be presenting tonight to address the situation that has arisen out of Oak Island. The following play, acted by me and written by Louis, presents this never before proposed up until now, but extremely probable explanation of what occurred at the time based on known history and issues of that time period. Here in this work of historical fiction, my character, a Nova Scotian teenager, will describe his thoughts on the finding of the alleged treasure shaft, what it really is, and what this treasure hunt may have evolved into. After watching, let us know what you thought of the following explanation. Obviously, it's just our opinion, but it has a lot of pretty sound factual and historical information to back it up. So, um, has the mystery been solved? Let us know down below in the comments. As always, this is Daniel Profeta, and I hope you enjoy. I'm going to tell you a story about how taxes created a mysterious hole in the ground on Oak Island. Once I tell you this story, the hole will not seem so mysterious. In order to understand exactly what occurred, first, I must teach you about the world in which I grew up. In the Seven Years' War, known here as the French and Indian War, France lost Canada to Britain, but were allowed to keep the islands of St. Pierre and Mechelon to fish the Grand Banks and ship the fish back to France. But in winning the war, there was massive debt generated for Britain, along with the fact that the French were no longer a threat to the Anglo-American colonies. There was an increase in taxes and greater tax enforcement to address the British deficit. This situation of a greater tax burden and reduction of an external threat helped precipitate a revolt of the lower 13 British North American colonies, resulting in yet another war. But where I live, Nova Scotia, often referred to as the 14th colony, remained with Britain. Now we will get to why there is a hidden hole in the ground on Oak Island, and the reason is rum. Now rum is relatively inexpensive to make and it's an addictive substance that is constantly consumed by people, so naturally, the government puts loads of taxes on it. Now, these taxes lead to tax evasion. And obviously, if you sell something and you're not paying taxes on it, you're going to be making more money on that thing. And therein lies the motivation for pretty much all of this. Now, there is no way that that wooden short shaft is from the Age of Pirates, which is nearly a hundred years before my time. It is from the age of smuggling in which I live. Here are a couple of examples of why it cannot be a hundred plus years old. First, think of when people go to build a well. They're going to use stones and try to build it to be permanent. By the same token, when you go to build a cellar or basement for a home, uh, you're going to use stone to build the walls that are in the ground so that they don't rot away because wood rots. Now, buried wood sealed from air in water-saturated soil-like pilings will not rot quickly or easily, but that is not the case here. It cannot be a hundred years old because a wooden structure would have caved in and fallen apart by now. Was it a mine? No. What is there for anyone to mine? There is nothing there to mine, and no one ever thought there was. 
In your age, people smuggle illegal drugs and fake items. In my age, people smuggle to evade taxes and products which compete with protected goods. You are familiar in the modern age with smugglers who use submarine-type craft, vehicles with secret compartments, and goods which are outwardly deceptive to move narcotics, counterfeit goods, and other prohibited items, as well as even people past customs inspectors. Also, there are the narco tunnels which go under the U.S. and Mexican border. Many of these are quite elaborate. This one even has an elevator. Maybe the guys who created this should be hired for the subway projects which are always behind schedule and over budget. A concealed hole in the ground being used to hide illegally offloaded rum while it waits to be transported inland is a very plausible explanation for the hole. A vertical shaft instead of a covered horizontal trench provides a place with very little surface footprint and is much easier to conceal. If the authorities appear, it is easy for the smugglers to merely disappear through the retractable surface hatch with the camouflage on top. The description of the structure found contained full floors. Mines don't have full floors across their shafts, since they would get in the way of hauling up dirt and minerals, and this would be a waste of resources. The same would be true if the shaft is in search of something else, like treasure. The full floors have a purpose, and that purpose would have been storage. The structure was designed to hide something with a substantial volume on that floor space. No treasure could consume that much space. This would be something like barrels and crates. What are in those barrels and crates? There is also a telltale sign of the offloading of rum on that island. Coconut fibers. Now coconut shell fibers are used for packing and are our version of bubble wrap. Not only that, but coconut fibers come from the same place that the rum would come from, which is the West Indies. The coconut fiber packing material indicates that cargo was being illegally offloaded on that island, and that cargo was likely rum. Oak Island provides an uninhabited place not far from the mainland, allowing easy access to the mainland, but with enough space that if authorities or anyone else appears, there is still enough warning time to hide. It is far enough from habitation that no one will see anything on the water, but not unreasonably far from the markets. It is the perfect location. Now the little twist in this story is that what was alleged to be a treasure hunt taking place in what was likely a smuggler's storehouse may now be the location for a new smuggling operation in itself. Why would there be men in activity on an island which has no farming and just a little logging? Why would men and women be going back and forth from the mainland to the island? And the answer is a treasure hunt. If anyone shows up to this place, they're focused on what's going on in the hole. Remember what magicians do. They have you focused on what is going on in their right hand, but it's really what's going on in the left that's important. It is the perfect cover-up, and all the rum is likely being hidden in the spoils pile, which is just a perfect big pile of dirt that needs to be there for the treasure hunt. Now the rum shipments are likely hidden under the spoils pile. A big pile of dirt is expected where a treasure hunt is going on. It's a perfect location. The ground in the area and all of the plants are being trampled and pushed to the ground because it's a treasure hunt going on, not because smugglers are working the area. And why would people continue to invest in a treasure hunt which never seems to produce results? And the answer is because it's really a smuggling operation. And as long as rum moves, it's safe to say that treasure will not be located. People believe what occurred on Oak Island involved the grandiose with pirates and the Knights Templar but the local common Nova Scotians had their own dreams and plans, and are fully capable of complicated and interesting projects as well. The descendants of those involved in this operation are likely living in Nova Scotia today. They know their great-great-great-grandparents were able to somehow buy a large farm, but maybe don't know how they did it. Jesus said that we are to render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's. However, he never actually said exactly what is Caesar's? So, it's up to us to decide. Now the old saying goes that nothing is as certain as death 
or taxes. But what if taxes aren't so certain? Sometimes what is supposed to be taxes could buy a farm. And that is how taxes likely created the mysterious hole in the ground on Oak Island. While it's not as grandiose a story as some have peddled, it is still extremely interesting and likely what really happened. There is a ton of evidence out there that shows that this is the most likely cause of the mysterious hole. So, um, I'm going to end this by asking you to remember, fiction can be used to teach history, but history can never be fiction.